What's going on guys? So in this video, I'll be showing you a couple of controller grips that I just got from my PS5 DualSense controllers. Uh, as you can see, I got a green one right here, and I also have a white one that's a slightly different edition. And basically I got both of these controller grips from Amazon from a company called Extreme Rate. Um, I'll throw some links down in the description if you wanna check them out. And so yeah, basically in this video, I'll show you these two controller grips, and I'm gonna tell you uh, what I think about them. So first of all, as you can see, uh, this specific controller grip is green, and this is called the Guardian Edition. Uh, Extreme Rate makes a few different editions. Uh, this is the Guardian Edition. goes for about 16 bucks right now on Amazon. Uh, the other one is actually called the Samurai Edition. Uh, the controller grip is just a little bit different, a little bit different textures. And that one goes for about a dollar less. And so let's go ahead and start with the green one. So as I said, it's the Guardian Edition. And when you get this in the mail, it'll come in a little package like this. Uh, pretty simple, um, lightweight. It comes with the controller grip. It also comes with two thumbstick grips, which are nice. And then it also comes with this little piece of paper uh, just saying you can get a six month warranty if you send a photo or video to their social media account. And so yeah, as I said, this is the Guardian Edition and it's a pretty standard controller grip except for on the sides, it has a specialized pattern. I'll just let you look at it for a second. Uh, it actually feels pretty nice in the hands. I like it because it gives a little bit more beef to the controller. Um, I'll be honest, with the regular default controller, my hand gets a little bit cramped going like this. So I, you know, I push my hands out like this and this is how I hold the controller. And I feel like having this controller grip, it sticks out a little bit more on the sides and it actually gives you a little bit more leverage just to, and I think it just feels a little bit nicer in the hand. And of course the main benefit is the grip. You know, if you're playing a long Call of Duty session, your hands are probably gonna get sweaty at some point. And that's where the grip comes in. Uh, you know, the new PS5 controller has nice grip. Uh, this top part is not grippy at all, but on the bottom it has the nice texture that helps you grip but being plastic it's always going to slip at some point in time so having a nice grip on here with the grippy material uh, definitely helps especially once you get sweaty it takes a little bit of time to break in you know when i first put these on it didn't it felt pretty slick um, but after you have your hands on for a while it, it breaks it in and it it definitely feels really grippy now the thumbsticks i'll probably take off to be honest um, they do actually help with the grip a lot but but you know i think the grip on the normal thumbsticks is fine for now you know sometimes once you put your controllers through the ringer and play them for for days and hours on end, sometimes you start to wear down the controller grips or on the joysticks. Um, I think at that point in time, it'd be a good idea to put these little these little grips on. So yeah, that's the Guardian Edition. Now let me show you the Samurai Edition, uh, which is a little bit different. Uh, it's pretty much the same grip, except the textures on the side are a little bit different. I think the main difference is that, that on the Guardian Edition, it sticks out a little bit further on the sides, which I personally like. On the Samurai Edition, it's a little bit more recessed on the sides. Uh, so if you like that feel, then you might want to go with the Samurai Edition. But let me just show you how easy it is to put it on. So basically you want to slide one leg into there at first, and then you can kind of stretch it out to get the other leg in there. It's definitely really stretchy, so it's not, not difficult to put on. It kind of feels like it's going to break just because you're stretching it so much, but it's, it's not going to unless you, you know, really stretch it, push it to its limits. But as you can see, it goes on there pretty easily. The grip doesn't interfere with any of the buttons or, or speakers or anything like that. So as you can see, you can get you can get to all your buttons pretty easily. Uh, everything on the right is very accessible. Everything on the left is very accessible. You can get your start and your share buttons pretty easily. Um, your speaker is open. Your main button here is open. Your mute button is open. Um, there's no interference with your joysticks. Touchpad is fully accessible. Both your right and left triggers are good. Um, and you even have a little hole back here. I think this is the reset button. And then down here, I think that's another mic. Or, or something down there um, that's accessible. Now one thing I want to point out that might be an issue for some people is that once you put these controller grips on you're not going to be able to use the DualSense charging unit. Uh, so this is the charging unit that, that Sony sells. It's like the official one and you know usually you'd stick it on here and it would fit but with the controller grip it does not fit anymore. So if you really like using the DualSense charging unit then this may be a deal breaker for you. Um, that's just something to point out just in case you need to know that. Uh, not a big deal for me because I can just plug in my USB-C um, cable there and charge it up just fine. So I also want to show you how to put on these little um, thumbstick grips. So I read on Amazon that you can actually flip the little thumbstick grip inside out and that makes it super easy to put on. Flipped inside out now, as you can see it looks pretty weird. But now if you put it on top of the joystick and just push it down, it goes right over it. Well, almost. There we go. So if it's right on the joystick, now let's try the second one. Uh, this one should hopefully be a little easier because I did, just did that first one, so now I know how to do it a little bit better. And there we go, so we're inside out now. 
and go straight on the joystick, push down and around, and voila, super easy. Uh, this one, I actually like this grip a little bit better. It's not quite as aggressive as the one on the Guardian controller. Uh, so the Guardian controller has spikes on the top, which I'm not a huge fan of. These are very grippy, but a little more subtle. I actually kind of like those. So on the right, we have our Guardian uh, grip. On the left, we have our Samurai grip. And as you can see, I just put them side by side so you can kind of see the difference. Uh, basically, the only difference is what materials are on the sides. And as I said, the one on the left is a little more recessed, a little slimmer on the sides. Uh, whereas the, the Guardian edition sticks out a bit more, um, which I like a little bit better because it gives me some more, some more beef, some more grip to hold on to when I'm holding the controller. Um, but that's really just a personal preference and I kind of just want to show you side by side what they look like. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helped you out. Uh, again, I put the links down in the description if you want to check either of these controller grips out. They're both made by Extreme Rate. You can get them on Amazon for about 15 or 16 bucks, which I think is a pretty good price for what you get. And yeah, thanks for watching guys and have a great day. Thank you.